Hello there, YouTubers and do-it-yourselfers and RVers and a whole bunch of you. We're here today in the back of my RV and we're looking to upgrade this light. I haven't seen anybody yet that likes these things and I don't know why we haven't done it sooner. So we searched around on Amazon for a nice reading light and we came up with this one. It's a Frylight Bay Spot 12 volt LED reading light. Uh, this is going to be the brass. They also come in a chrome. It's a warm white LED light. So let's open it up and see what we have. They came fairly quickly. They were they're about thirty-five dollars a piece. So not the cheapest ones we could find, but. We started reading re reviews for some of the real cheap ones and they didn't sound so good. So here it is. It's a nice looking light. It's pretty simple. It has an on off switch. No dimmer. Just an on off switch and a warm white LED. It, uh, it'll go up and down like this. And you can adjust the swivel on it. It will swivel but you don't want to keep going around in a bunch of circles. It's not, it's not really made to swivel a lot. So what we're going to try to do is put it back a little further so when you're laying in bed you can read. These are so far up that the light comes right in your eyes almost. So this we're going to put as far back to the wall as we can and about the same height as this one. We're going to move this little catch-all pouch up here to cover the hole that this is that's going to be there when we move this. There's going to be a hole there, probably about an inch hole. We've shut the power off and unplugged the rig. These are only 12 volts, but it's best to unplug the power anyway. So I'm going to start by just taking off the screws here. That new spotlight did not come with any screws, so I'm going to keep these and reuse these to mount our new light. So I've taken the screws out. Now there's a little bit of slack in there, so I've pulled the slack out that came from the old light. I'm going to cut off both of these supply wires because these are crimped on I can't get them off so let's say goodbye to that thing nobody likes these not me either so I'm gonna determine where I want to place this one I want to put it as far back to the wall as I can I don't want to hit the wall I'm gonna leave about a half an inch but just to make sure that it can swivel any way it wants and then I'm gonna put a little outline around it with a pencil Okay, there it is. I'm going to take a little hole saw. I believe it's about the same size as this. I think it's a one inch. So I'm going to take this piece of paper just to catch some of the drillings. Set it over here. I'm going to go right in the middle of my hole. I'm just going to eyeball it. That's it. So I'm going to need to add a little bit of wire to this and I've got some I think it's 16 gauge wire anyway it's heavy duty enough for what I need and I'm going to add this and then snake this through and bring it out this other hole. So I've stripped my wires. I'm going to put the red to the yellow one, which is this positive. Make sure it's good and snug. And black is going to go to the white, which is going to be the negative. So I'm going to tape the wire nuts a little bit just to add some strength to the connection. I'm going to put some of this back in the hole. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to snake a wire. It's an aluminum wire. It's not a hanger. It's a little softer than that. I've snaked my wire from the new hole back to the old hole. 
and there's a there's a rib in here you can feel it if you stick your finger in there's a little one by two you have to push some slack into the closet side of the paneling and sneak this wire through now I'm going to tape this my new wires onto my white uh, my new electrical wires onto my fish wire okay now let's see if we can fish these through fall apart and we can put our old wire nuts up into the old hole okay so now I've got my new wires over here I have my wires stripped on both the light and my supply wires I'm going to use a little uh, squeeze connector a little tube connector since these wires are so small on here, I don't want to put a uh, wire nut on them and twist them off. They're very fine. So I'm going to crimp this tube on here. And there we have it hooked up. Now all I have to do is mount it and we will replace the catch-all to cover this and we'll be good. So I've put a piece of tape around these crimp connectors again just as a precaution to give them a little more strength. And I'm going to push the wires back up into the hole. So I'm just going to screw into the paneling here. This is pretty light paneling, but this light is so small and light that it's not a big deal. And I'm not even pre-drilling the holes. I'm just screwing right in. And I'm not going to get them too tight so I don't bend my, my light. So there you have it. One reading light installed. Okay, that's back up. Remote control, reading glasses, reading light. There you have it. Nice upgrade. I can tone this down a little bit. Doesn't get in Julie's eyes. So no more of that big bulky funny looking sh lampshade up there anymore and a better light for reading so and there are much cheaper lights than these these were like I said $35 a piece so this is a $70 upgrade but there were much cheaper ones I think you can get them for as little as like 15 bucks so hope you guys enjoyed the video it's a simple easy upgrade and I think you'll be happy if you do it on your rig and get rid of those old lights so thanks for watching the video we'll see you in the next one